What is up everyone, welcome back to another episode of building the Siege of Bricks here on Cube Brick. We are now at chapter 4 of the series and we have a lot of progress to cover. Last time you saw the finished rock work and the path that is going in front of the city walls and we have started making the walls themselves. Today I want to show you how the finished wall looks like and the little twist that I've added to spice things up. But before we jump into today's segment I would like to thank you all for your support. I received some great feedback about the mock and some of you even gave me some good ideas that I might use in the build. And if you are new to the channel you should know that Siege of Bricks is a mock that is being made in a collaboration with my friend from the channel Edge of Bricks. The goal is to make two dioramas that will make a scene of his army attacking the city that I am building. He is already closing in on finishing his part of the mock so that is something that is pushing me forward with my part of the build. Of course you can check out all the episodes of his building series on this channel that I will link below. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic the convention on which we want to display the mocks on is cancelled. So all the hopes to finally meet in person and see the builds next to each other has gone with the wind. It's a shame, but you can still enjoy the full project as we are planning to end both series with a bang. Now before we go on and continue, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already because it is thanks to your support these videos are being made and I will happily make more videos like this in the future. This time before we jump into actual build progress, just a quick update on my main element of defense that is the ballista. I've changed the string that is stretched between the arms to a thicker one. Not only does it look better, but it also gives the weapon more power to shoot the projectiles even further. To make the ropes I used a thin thread that I braided using a technique used during medieval times but with lego power functions to make things easier. The string consists of 12 layers of thread that were braided in groups of 4. Each group was braided together at the same time so it made a pretty thick rope. I know the quality of the video showing the manufacture line isn't the best but it should give you a basic idea of how it works. Now I know many of you wanted to see a tutorial on how the ballista is actually made and I will get there eventually but for now I want to focus on building and finishing the mock. I think that the tutorial for the ballista will come sometime after the series finale. And speaking of the mock itself, let's see it already shall we? So the outside walls are finished with a similar pattern that the one on the right side of the mock that you saw in the last episode. I used a lot of plates, studs, headlights, jumpers and cheese slopes to give the wall more details and man it looks good. The texture I got here is much more than I expected and the look of it combined with the fully made crenellations is really what I was hoping for. And of course it can no longer be a secret that Edge of Bricks was able to damage the walls with his trebuchet. The hole will be finished on the inside with dark bricks mixed with trans orange elements to simulate fire. That is also what the power function lights that you saw in the last episode will be used for. I finished the both sides of the wall with a dark grey filling. Nothing too fancy, just plates mixed with some tiles and curved slope to imitate the rubble cord that was between the outer and inner parts of the wall. The next step here will be to make a wall walk on both sides flat with tiles, with of course some detailed elements on the whole length of the walkway. The wall walk will meet here on the tower, which will be elevated with a wooden platform that will hold the ballista. I got some suggestions that I could make the tower higher than the walls and that is something that came from my mind several times, but for this mock I'm going to stick to my original concept and use wooden base rather than building with more stone. It is not like it's my last castle build I'll be making, so the time for a huge tower will come eventually. Ok, since we started already talking about what is going on on the top of the walls, let's go down to see the courtyard. The walls right now are made as placeholders, not only to get a better idea on how the inside will look like, but also I got a chance to see how much light bluish grey bricks I got. And to be honest that should be enough bricks, especially that they will be used in a mix with a lot of small elements you saw on the outside. Those parts already came in so I think I will be able to finish the entire section soon. I started prototyping the staircase I want to have leading to the top. I think this is the way I want to go with the design and when completed it should be looking great. Now the door leading to the tower is already a finished design. 
I think I'm going to change the texture above the door a little bit, since I got some new parts for the mock, but more of that in a minute. I also placed a lantern to see how it would look, and I think I should mount a few more of those. The floor is already nicely textured as well with those 10 inglet pieces. And when finished there will be some snow piles all around the courtyard. And of course you can now see what will be the main focus on the courtyard. I wanted to add a frozen fountain and I think that the design I came up with is not bad at all. It's a good thing that I found a grey minifigure head in my collection because the stone figure fits here perfectly. The inside of the fountain will be fully covered with trans clear cheese slopes that also came with the hole. And since I mentioned the hole again, it's about time to see what parts I got that will hopefully allow me to finish the entire mock. Let's start out with light bluish grey parts for the walls. Most importantly 200 1x2 plates which should be enough, especially that I still have a few left in my collection. To fill the gaps I got a hundred of 1x1 plates along with some jumpers and several headlights and modified bricks with stud on sides. I also got more 1x1s in olive green and in brown which will be very useful for moss and wooden elements. And something that can be a really great detail to put in but a very hard one to implement that is triggers from stud shooters. As I was saying before I had to get some trans clear slopes for the ice in the fountain and also some orange ones for the burning wall. Also for the hole in the wall I got some fire pieces which will be scattered all around somehow and few bar pieces for falling debris. Last but not least I got more ingot pieces to finish the courtyard floor. And as it was stronger than me I also got some parts that I will not use in this mock but I got them already thinking about future projects that I am planning. Any ideas what could that be? Give me your guesses in the comments. Oh, I almost forgot that I also got 3 more knights for my army that will fill the ranks probably as ranged troops. And since the slayer had him, I got a blacksmith from the medieval market village set. Not sure if he will be used in this mock or not, but it's one of those figures that every LEGO castle builder should have. Ok guys, I think that covers everything that I have been doing for the last 2 weeks or so. We got a lot of progress done and I can already see the end of the build is closing in. The mountain and the exterior part of the castle is basically finished. All is left is the explosion made by the enemy's artillery and the top of the walls. The interior needs a lot of work still, but the concept of the courtyard is solid and outlined so it shouldn't be much of a problem. Next episode will be the finale of building and showing the overall look of my part of the collab. Then we'll have a cinematic showcase showing both parts of the build. But before that a lot of work is still ahead of me so I better get to it. Of course any feedback from you guys is much appreciated so let me know what you think in the comment section below and leave a like if you're enjoying the build so far. With all that said, take care and I'll see you all next time here on Kubrick.